Picture this, it's 1964. You and your suburban, picturesque, all-American family are walking to the park to grab yourself a good old bite from your local rush coach. But oh no, SWAT team trucks pull up with a gaggle of hazmat suits and you don't know what's going on. Apparently it's this new fangled found professional CDC shutting down your burger joint? I don't think so. We could have solved this if only an inspector would have come along. If only someone with the proper talent, skills, looks and skills came along, this could have all been avoided. Health and safety be damned? I don't think so, Denmark. Because your local health inspector isn't gonna let that slide. This is the only hairnet I had on hand. I wasn't gonna go buy another one. You might not know this about me, but I actually used to work on the food truck. And if you're upset because you didn't know this knowledge, don't. We're not friends and I don't owe you anything. Not only have I worked on a food truck, but I'm also kind of knowledgeable when it comes to Lego. And when you put the two together, I am the most knowledgeable of anyone in the entire world. There might be a few people that know more about Lego, and there are definitely people that know more about food trucks, but combined, no one. I can say it factually, 100%, there is no one as intelligent or as smart or as funny as me. <laughs> I think... I feel like... Using my profound and everlasting knowledge and help from some real food truck owners that definitely are not my parents, we're gonna figure out where the Danes went wrong. However, I would like to establish what a food truck is so we're all on the same base level because not everybody is as knowledgeable as I am about food trucks and Lego. According to Google, a food truck is just a vehicle that serves or produces food. So with that baseline of knowledge set, Trailers are being counted as food trucks in here. While the argument can be had, I'm not having it today. To avoid unnecessary comments, we're gonna go through some examples of what are not food trucks, so I don't have anybody telling me that I missed a modular. Creator 3-in-1s are not modulars, and I didn't miss it, I didn't know it existed. Any sort of pizza delivery vehicle is not a food truck. Your 1999 Ford Taurus, that's not a food truck, that's minimum wage. Any sort of stand or booth, there aren't any wheels, it's not a truck. If it's a cart, that probably only has two wheels, but even if it has four, I don't care, it's not so propelled, not a truck. While Pigsy's food truck does count, Pigsy's noodle tank is a war crime and I don't wanna read the Geneva Conventions. The Krabby Patty Mobile from SpongeBob, while delicious, not a food truck. Ice cream trucks are not food trucks. Food trucks can be ice cream trucks, but they're not tied together. Case in point. Would you consider ice cream trucks food trucks? No. The Aerial Acrobatic Set. While Brick Set has it listed under the same categories every other food truck is under, it's not. There aren't any food items. If there were, I would have been willing to put it in, but it's more of just a ticket booth. Now that we have some examples of what isn't a food truck, you should be able to differentiate the two apart. We're only working with 11 different food trucks here, the first one being a friend set, a juice truck. The next one also being a juice truck, but the difference is, this one's organic. While it doesn't serve any solid foods and it's a trailer, it's still somehow a food truck. I personally think it's more of a carny truck and my interviewees thought it was something a little bit different. I think that's like the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. The food would be terrible. This is just terrible. This is the worst food truck ever. But the amusement park hot dog van fits most of the criteria to make it a food truck. You can drive it. So we're just gonna throw it in even though it's a little bit tacky. Pizza van. I'm not sure what Lego's affinity towards vans are over trucks. It's lost on me. But this is what happens when small pizza chains grow big. Monster Burger Truck. This one is technically not legal to be driven anywhere in the whole of the United States as it is a monster truck, seeing since it's both too tall and too wide to fit on the roads, but I, I am pretty desperate to talk about food trucks here. Pizza to go. Now I know I said pizza delivery trucks don't count, but actually the alternate build of this set is a trailer that serves pizzas. The newest set as of the making of this video is this friend's street market set. It has a taco truck. Monkey Kids Pigsy's food truck. We're not going to talk about the implication of a pig serving pork. We will leave that for someone else some other time. The last friend set on this list, the Snow Resort Hot Chocolate Van. I don't know if it's technically a food truck because it's owned by a company, it probably doesn't leave the property, but I am desperate because the list is already very short. Lastly, we have the Lego Movie set, Creative Ambush, specifically Bob's Kebabs, the little small glider on the side. Knowing what trucks we need to inspect, we need to establish the parameters of the inspection. Restaurants and grocery stores are usually governed by the FDA so we don't die of Ebola, but with food trucks, it's a little bit different. To make sure trucks aren't killing people with their germy little hands, it's usually left up to state and local county ordinance. Seeing how old my food truck experience is from Ohio and I don't wanna learn whatever crazy laws San Francisco has to help govern their trucks, I'm gonna go with Ohio. More specifically, I'm gonna go with the laws set in Franklin County, where the capital of Ohio is, Columbus. Using the guidelines and local laws for Franklin County, Ohio, we can now figure out what trucks are legal in the state of Ohio. All of the Lego food trucks that are legal in Franklin County, Ohio. Home of the Buckeyes. You gotta understand, I went through pages and pages of documents to figure out what, what qualifies a truck so it's street legal. In total, I ended up using 27 different pages 
of what does count and what counts against you from different fire codes, safety and healthy codes, or just specific laws that only apply to Franklin County. Not in any way are they legal. None of them have storage tanks for gray water. Propane tanks? Psh, they don't even have generators. How these things are running or powered at all I, is beyond me. If your city has any of these food trucks parking here, get them out now. You are putting hundreds of minifigures lives at stake. <laughs> Outbreak. Everybody's gonna die! Everyone's gonna die. It also doesn't seem very fair to hold up little tiny little baby food trucks up to the standards of the big boy ones on real roads. When you take an image and shrink it down, it loses the detail that makes it that image. So with that in mind, I think it's only fair to take the criteria for food trucks that need to be street legal and shrink them down in a way that actually makes sense. That's what I did. Because of my hard work as a local county inspector, I'm now making Lego cities safer for you and your plastic children. I condense it down to 10 things I feel are pretty important, plus two bonus things to help with the point system. Refrigeration, only when required. Some food trucks don't need it, but if you do need food to be kept at a safe temperature, you need some sort of refrigeration unit or cooler. A truck can't stay in one location for more than 40 days, i.e. it needs to be mobile. There must be a means of egress. This is for the fire department. They need to make sure that if anything happens, you can get out real quick. And they can get in. Wow. <laughs> the other one that I took from the fire department's list is an extinguisher. You wouldn't believe how many trucks don't actually have one of these. There has to be proper ventilation so you can get all of those fumes from the grill and fryer out of I know they're small. I know they're small. It's almost like comical. It must at least have one sink. Normally trucks need four to operate, but I will settle with one. Your minifigure better not be putting their nasty bare hands on my good clean food. There has to be some gloves or utensils or something separating their gross hands from my yummy little hamburger. Just like restaurants, there has to be a smooth surface area that you can work and handle food so it's easily wiped down and you don't miss any crevices where bacteria can grow. Studs in this case are not smooth or in any case. Every county requires proper registration and licensing so some random schmuck isn't slinging euros on the side of the street. So in this case, we're gonna need to make sure that every single truck has at least one license plate. For our last one, I put it as a random catch-all. That's health hazards. If there's anything out of whack that just does not line up and is pretty dangerous to the average consumer, it's a health hazard and it's gotta go. And for the bonus points, we have lights and Hair covering. Not every truck has a minifigure, so I didn't think it'd be fair to have hair covering for all of them. And, you know, gotta see in the dark. And here is our inspecting barrier of what is legal food truck thing. The maximum points so a truck can receive is a 10. We're gonna use the FDA's grading criteria, so anything that isn't an A, B, or C is not up to code and cannot operate in our LEGO city. A's are 9 and 10's. B's are eights, C's are sevens, and anything under that, they're not serving in my district. Pigsy's food truck is the second highest scoring truck on our list, which isn't a big surprise. It is the largest uh, by space out of all the food trucks that Lego has produced. It was lacking with a uh, lack of sinks, and it didn't have a fire extinguisher. Also, the fact that it is a weapon meant for war with a Gatling gun on the top of it was kind of a health hazard, but it did make up for it with two bonus points with having both lights and hair covering. I'm also gonna assume Pigsy is just a furry and not an anthropomorphic pig and all of the health things that fall along with that. I don't wanna fill up that paper. The city pizza truck has a lot of shortcomings. There isn't any way for them to get in or out of the truck without hopping through a window. There's nothing to refrigerate their dough, cheese, tomatoes. There isn't a sink anywhere to be found. There's a disturbing lack of fire extinguishers. The only real good thing they have going for themselves is that I think those are supposed to be bricks representing an exhaust system. The taco truck's a weird one to me. It was bundled together with a sushi stand and a juice booth, and that's fine on its own, but all the signage is connecting it together, which makes me think it's actually a bigger business building several different small things to appeal to the hipsters. It falls a little short with me. Getting a six, it doesn't pass the requirements to be a food truck. With so much space in the back, a lot of it went to waste. There is a refrigerator and plenty of smooth working space, but it opening up on a triangular hinge is just minifigures playing God, and I'm not comfortable with it. The hot dog food truck, as I said earlier, I'm convinced is just a carny thing you would find at a fair. It came in with a real low score of six. There's only a grill. There is really nothing else going on, and people trying to climb that ladder and get to the second story to eat up there is a safety health hazard if I've ever seen one. The coffee cart, there's a lot to be said about that. He's not wearing gloves. It doesn't show anywhere for him to wash his hands. Every health department in every state and every county requires a separate hand sink inside the truck. No, that's not legal at all. It's more like a, a roach coat. This is just terrible. This is the worst food truck ever. It too is sitting at a six for similar reasons as the hot dog truck because they're, it's just so lacking on the inside. Oh wait, 
I only want to, I'm supposed to be putting these as not. The juice truck is the only set on this list that made it at zero. Mia, get your shit together. If you'd like to know, before I got to the health hazard section, her truck was sitting at a four, but there is a comic in the set that shows her driving around with her pet bunny, or at least I hope it's a pet and not some random rabies and You cannot have a pet in your truck. You cannot have a furry creature in your truck. That's not le- no. The pineapple juice truck also is not legal. It had the same score as Mia's organic juice truck at four, but it stayed at a four because it didn't have a rabbit hitchhiking. The folks running the hot chocolate truck at the snow resort know what they are doing. They were fully prepared for someone to come and inspect them at any moment. Without receiving any bonus points, it reached a score of eight. The monster truck burger food truck is the highest scoring truck out of every single one on this list with a solid 10. It received both the bonus points with lights and proper head covering, but it did lack in license plates. I don't know if monster trucks need a license plate. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'm gonna assume they do. And it, I don't think the bumper sticker really counts. The other mark where our moustache friend missed was the health hazard section. I, I feel as if those stairs are not OSHA approved. Bob's Kebabs also did not make the list. It is cool, but it's kind of obvious why a flying death machine didn't really make the cut. Fun fact, Bob's Kebabs flying Bob Kebab flyer glider is more legal in the Lego City terms of food trucks than the actual build that it's based on in the movie. It received a five and the trailer received a four. Finally, we have the alternate build from the Pizza to Go. It received a measly four points. It does have a sink in it, but the sink just fills up the trailer like it's a hot tub on wheels. I'm not gonna put a mark against it for the pizzas that are hanging up there as a health hazard. I'm gonna assume those are signs and not actual pizzas he's intending to serve customers. Out of the 11 food trucks Lego has produced as a set, only three of them are legal to go on the street right now. Because of my passion and tenacity as an inspector for the health department of our local county, I made sure that these garbage trucks were off the streets. Lego, I beg, no, I implore you that if you ever make another Lego food truck, please talk to me. As the world's leading expert of both Lego and food truck, I am the perfect person for you to reach. And if not, just check out the sheet I have in the description. You can pick any sets and put them through there, and then they you can tell if they're legal food trucks. For example, I ran an ice cream truck through there. It's legal, it has a seven points. Pigsy's noodle tank scored better than Pigsy's food truck with a solid 10 out of 10. I don't know why a weapon of mass destruction can serve people the perfect ramen, but whatever reason, it works. You're welcome, world. I just saved your Lego city from the worst pandemic we have ever seen. See, he, he knew all along what he was talking about. No, not necessarily. Just encourage people to comment. Please comment though. I like, it's good for the algorithm. No, you read every single one. And last, the food is all plastic, in which case everyone's going to die. Looks and knowledge came along. <laughs> Please say something negative for the what, highlights reel. Is that real? the whole objective of this? Yes! yes. I told you that! Why am I slamming Lego food trucks?